I'm gonna be using the conspiracy palette. I don't, know, I don't know if I told you guys before. Uh, and I'm using my little pink mirror today. <laughs> Let's begin this video. Ooh, conspiracy. <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna do something like reversed smoky eye. If you've never heard of it, you'll see it right now. So I'm gonna start off with the color um, called pigment. It's a little pink one right here with a little pig on it from the conspiracy palette. And I'm gonna apply that right here on my inner corner. I already have uh, a primer on that I told you guys earlier. So I'm gonna apply this, this powder just little by little. I don't want it too crazy intense, just light enough to where it's like my transitioning shade. If that makes any sense for you guys. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. The only thing I don't like about the conspiracy palette, I can tell you, because I'm like, I don't like it. Why is it looking so messy? It just gets kind of messy sometimes. But I love Jeffrey and I will support him forever because they're pretty pigmented and stuff. But just the fallout problem is just I don't, what I don't like. It gets like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kind of gets in some of these colors right here. And then you can see some of it right there. So, I mean, it's not like a big, oh my God, deal. But to me, it kind of is. If you have a pet peeve like me, it's just, just a little bit of this. And I'm going to apply it on the inner corner here. I'm gonna use a Morphe brush like I told you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like Morphe brushes. Morphe brushes seem like they're, I mean, if they were a dollar, I will still buy them, but since they're like $5 a brush, and then they get all like, like a broom, you know, or you have like electricity in your hair, you know, the little papers will go like this up and stuff like that. I'm not, I don't like brushes like that. I, I can't stand them like that because at the end of the day, the hairs will get crazy and then you can't fix them back in its place. Um, You know, you can't mold them back. So if that happens to you guys, you know what I did with this one? I burned it. Look, I turned a lighter on this. I'm going to grab this pixie brush right here that was sent to me. It's a really good brush. Um, and I'm going to get the color called My Rides here. So very little bit of black. You don't want to go too crazy on the black. Just very little. Mm. 101 Clean Color Brand Liner. But if you don't have one, if you have the Urban Decay one, this one's good too. So I'm going to be using this one if I can find me my sharpener, which right here. So I always like to sharpen it every single time that I use it because I like to get my thing really pointy. My pencil, I mean, I'm sorry. This wig is from Katrina Fashion Wigs if you're interested. Just mention my name and you get a free shipping. So anyways, I'm going to put this all over my waterline. Okay, now for my lid right here area, which is this one right here, I'm gonna add it on the lid. Now this is where if you wanna decide to just leave it alone and apply some lashes and go. It will look really pretty if you use some really dramatic lashes, um, like 3D mink lashes. It will look so beautiful. Now. If you're feeling yourself and you want to add some like kind of like glitter flaky liner, you definitely can. It will still look so adorable. And you know, I'm extra sometimes. Just saying. So I'm going to definitely be doing the glitter, the glitter liner. So I'm going to, and the, all the links are going to be in the description. Um, so like I said, again, this is your personal preference. If you don't want to go too extra on it, you can just apply some really nice mink lashes and go on with your day. And will look so beautiful because the lashes itself is going to make you make it more smoky to the eye. Um, but then again, this is all personal preference right here in this step. I just want to make that sure it's clear out there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab Danae's Deja Vu Flakes. They're so bomb. If you haven't tried them or discovered them, I don't know why you haven't done so but yes definitely check them out they're really affordable the links are down below and let me grab them because we's about to turn this to like kapow kapow extra so. mm. 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 Yeah. okay i need some w40 anybody get me some w40 come on, come on. I guess I'm 
if it can handle this body no more. So I'm gonna use the glitter glue by Too Faced to create the liner with this little um, ZooColorBrush.com brush. And these are the flakes, they're called Boss Diamonds and they come in a set of like two sets. So it's just really pretty. They're little flakes, so you're gonna just go ahead and draw the little liner here. And it's a little super cute. Now before I continue with the other eye, I'm just gonna show you real quick. I get a concealer sometimes. Because if I not like I made it too thick here, don't worry, it's fine. Just get a brush. I'm using the MAC 248 brush. Um and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it here. Because I wanna create that really nice wing. And I don't want it to stay like really crazy thick. Look how beautiful this looks. Let me turn off my lighting so you guys can see. Hold on. Look how pretty. This is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish your eye and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks with some lashes on. Now that I have this, I'm gonna get some lashes from Danae's Daisy Boo Boutique and these are in the style of sexy. Look how glamorous these are. They're so extra. So anyways, my lighting sucks. I can't get it to look good like I usually do. So just go with the flow of today's lighting because but you guys can see, I'll still upload a picture um, for you guys on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and get my primer and I'll show you guys the rest of the makeup. Okay, so now for the winter, I love using this primer and it's by the brand Amuse Cosmetics. It's a 14 karat gold. This is the more affordable version of the one that um, the jewelry store used. I forget what the name of it is, but it's really good. So if you have dry skin, definitely check it out. Or if your skin is dry during the winter then you should definitely be checking this out the store called flawless beauty sells it really cheap like four dollars i think so i get it and apply it on my hands two pumps then i apply it with my work it out with my fingers to warm it up a little bit and then i apply it to my skin now um i work it out on my skin i have oily skin so i have to mix it with something else just so it doesn't look too crazy on my pores because if i have oily skin it gets really oily and then i don't want my pores to be like you know when you put some foundation, some orange, you can see the pores. Yeah, I got big crazy pores. So with that, I'm gonna use the Coastal Sense Primer, and it comes in a really nice bougie looking glass bottle. And don't forget the pump. So you get a lot of product actually in this bottle, cause look, so for the price, that's a steal. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this real quick to here. And I'm gonna roll that in on my cheek area. I only focus it on my, my cheeks and my nose. And a little bit maybe on my beard area because you know my beard is really crazy. But um my nose and my little under eye area of my cheek right here. This is where I mainly have my big crazy pores. My forehead, not so much. This is mainly the one that bothers me. It's just right on my nose and my cheek area. And as you guys can see, it's nicely um boarded out already a little bit. I just can see that because my lighting is really bad right now. I need to get something else or a white backdrop to help me with the lighting. Okay. Now I'm gonna color correct my skin, my beard area, and with that I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange. I love this concealer to cover up the little beard area here. I'm not gonna add too much because of course I need to shave. And I try not to shave every single day due to uh, my skin getting really crazy. Because it gets, at times, it gets really bad where it even starts burning my skin of how much I shave every day. <clears throat> a little bit of makeup revolution right here. I'm in the color F11. I'm gonna apply this to my skin. Tart tape tape in the color light medium. And I'm just gonna only apply for today under my eyes. Um, I usually add it over my face, but just for today, I don't want to add it all over my face. I don't feel like putting a lot of stuff on my face today. That's City Color of Flawless Natural Loose Powder. It smells so good. I found it at Diddy's actually, and it works so good. I, I don't know why I haven't bought another one. Because I have a lot of favorite powders. 
I have a lot of powders that I love. I love the Airspun. I love the Italia Deluxe Banana one. So I'm gonna get this Beauty Creation Peach. It's not, these smell so good, guys. If you guys like MAC and sometimes it gets a little too pricey on you, paying $24 for a setting spray, be there. Um, honestly, you know how they have the coconut scent, the, the cucumber scent, or I think they have MAC? I'm not sure. But anyways, girl. Beauty Creation is tip of their game and they came up with one. So instead of paying $25 for one setting spray, girl, five bucks. Five dollars. Get you some good quality setting spray from this beauty. So lately I've been obsessed with the Coastal Sense um Sun Sun Tones. I can never say it right. Sometimes browser in the color medium. These are super affordable. If you guys have not seen them, check them out. They're really affordable. And they come with a little mirror. So you're gonna get the bronzer. I'm using the Lux brush in the number 16. F5, F16. Oh my god, these are so bullish. When your brushes come with like a really fancy name or a number, it's like girl. Calm down. I'm gonna get the color by the brand LA Colors in the color beige. This is a dollar, a dollar tree, and it's so good. I don't know why nobody types it up. This is a really good powder. And I'm gonna set that under eye and I'm gonna blend it all down with the rest of my makeup. So we're gonna highlight with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the color King Tut. Oh my god, this highlight is so pretty. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my powder because I don't have another one here in handy. And I'm just gonna blend it out nicely. This is such a pretty, pretty highlight. Now I'm gonna get a shadow brush like this by the brand Bebe. And I'm gonna get a little bit of the Conspiracy eyeshadow palette in the color, uh, I'm not even gonna try to say this name because it's so hard. So you get the point. And I'm just gonna blend it with this pencil. I'm gonna use the Jordana pencil in the color Auburn. This is really old, as you guys can tell. Look at the print on here, but they've never dried on me, and that's how good these are. And they're only a dollar and like I think 25 cents at Walgreens, so they're really good. I'm gonna use this lipstick by the brand Delancey.com, uh, D E minus sign Delancey.com. And this is a really beautiful set of nude lipsticks. They're like 20 bucks, and you get like six or eight lipsticks. These eight lipsticks. So, and they're all nude. So I'm gonna have highs on top. Super beautiful color. by the brand Amuse Cosmetics in the color, oh girl, 7316, I guess. These are very similar to the KKW and they're only $2. And on um, Flawless Beauty, thank you. Flawless Beauty Group sells really affordable makeup. So two bucks. This is the finished look for you guys today. This is by the brand Jennifer Star Cosmetics using the Conspiracy Palette. Woo! And also using the Nays Jabu Boutique and all more details on the description what I used today. I hope you guys love this makeup as much as I did. Um, if you guys do recreate this look, use the hashtag uh, Yesenia Garcia MUA so I can look at it on Instagram. And don't forget uh, to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys hopefully on the next video coming up soon. Don't forget to follow me on social medias. Bye, guys.